What is going on people? Welcome back to the channel guys. Today in this video, we're gonna be doing another bait review, except this time it's nothing store bought. This is actually coming from a subscriber. He wanted me to try this. This uh, subscriber's name is Aiden Gregg. He said, absolutely love the trail camera videos and the deer attracting videos. They are my favorite. If you need some ideas, here are a few. And uh, he told me about this uh, homemade deer attractant. And he said what it requires is some apples, some salt, some sugar, and some jello. And you cut it up, mix it all together, and leave it out here for the deer. So that's what we're going to do. So uh, shout out to uh, Aiden Gregg. Thank you, my friend, for giving me this idea. And we're going to put this to uh, work. And hopefully I do it justice, and hopefully it works so we can prove your recipe correct. All right, so down here, what we got right here is some gala apples. And I'm not going to lie to you, I just got those because they were the cheapest ones. Uh, this is the video camera, uh, trail camera that we're going to be using in the video, like we always do. Got an apple slicer. I got some idolized salt and this is a big old thing of sugar because I didn't want to bring a big old bag of sugar out here and I got some family size strawberry gelatin so what we're going to do first is remove all this off the table and then we're going to start slicing up these apples it's a big old bag of apples I haven't used one of these in forever so don't laugh Go. Bingo. It's one apple. Come on. All right, so there we have, that is all of our apples. Now I brought this big old pan, because now we're gonna take all these apples, we're gonna throw them in the pan. And then we are going to mix them up with all the sugar, jello, and salt that we have. Now Aiden did say in the recipe that you want them kind of dry, so you don't get, I guess, the sugar mixture stuck to everything on the side of the pan. But these apples are pretty juicy. So I think it's gonna be a little bit wet, but I don't think that's gonna make any big difference to the recipe here. It's a lot of apples. <laughs> Alrighty, now we're gonna put in the sugar because I already have it ready right here. Set y'all down. There we go. Nice good old fashioned sugar. That's gonna go all in here. Might have been a little too much. Woo. Then next up, we're gonna do the family size gelatin. Now this is the strawberry flavor. Now in the recipe, he said use strawberry too. That's the only reason I got it, but I guess you can experiment with other flavors and see what you like. I'm gonna pour the whole thing in here. Oh yeah. Looking good. All right, and he said add a little bit of salt. So, we're gonna add. Because deer love salt. All right, it's a good amount of salt. Just a dash. Move my trash over. And I got it all in here. I'm gonna shake it up the best I can. Completely coat the apples. Oh man, it smells a lot like strawberries and sugar. All right, now, oh my gosh, that smells so good. That's what we got. <laughs> it is apples just smothered in uh, jello and sugar. So I hope that's what it's supposed to come out looking like, but it smells amazing. I'm not gonna lie, it smells really, 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 really good. Super sugary. Ah. All right guys, so uh, have the camera set up, the video camera. It's gonna be right here, so I'm gonna put the apples right here in this spot. Also got the cell camera right over there on that tree. So we've got like two points of view for these apples. So I'm gonna put them, yeah, right here. 
So hold on, let me set you all down. Good. Sweet. All right. So, this is our apples. Y'all take a good look at them. Super, super red. Mm, doesn't that just look freaking delicious y'all oh i don't know about y'all but I, I, something better come eat this like i know for sure honestly it's either gonna be the raccoon or the possums uh we really don't have that many crows over here you know knock on wood but uh, most of the crows are over there on that other spot next to the creek over here we really don't get that many crows we have a whole bunch of cardinals out here though but i don't think they're really gonna go to town on uh, this stuff but for sure the raccoons and the possums are definitely gonna go at it I really hope we get a deer out here. Not too long ago, I had a six point come out here. So hopefully he comes back and he eats on these apples. So we can get our subscriber that mentioned this, a uh, pretty good review on his bait. <laughs> hopefully it turns out pretty good. So hopefully we do him justice. But as always guys, I will see y'all in T minus five days. And we'll check both the uh, game cameras and hopefully we got some good stuff to show y'all. So y'all, I will see you in five days. What is going on, real people? So it has officially been five days since we put out that homemade beta attractant with the apples, the sugar, the strawberry jello mix, and the salt. We shook it all up together in a huge mixture of sweet jello aroma and dumped it in a pot. We left it in the woods for five days. Now we're going to go through and watch the SD card videos and we'll see what all this bait attracted. So let's go ahead and watch the first clip together. All right, and pressing play. All right, the first thing we got is a cow from the neighboring field looking over at the apples thinking, man, how can I get to those? There's a fence in my way, but how can I do it? <laughs> uh, but he can't, there's a fence there. I'm sorry, buddy. You can't get to the apples even though you want to. So he's just gonna sit there and uh, chew on that tree next to the fence. Yeah, the neighbor uh, next to us, he's uh, recently moved all his cattle to the neighboring field right next to us. So the cows have definitely been a new addition. A lot of mooing, <laughs> a lot of mooing. But they're pretty cool. I don't mind them. You can see him walking away in the background, hanging his head low. He's still back there moving. Ah, Rocco. Never in my life have I met a German Shepherd that has been more stupid than Rocco. Oh, here we got an armadillo. I always see the armadillo out here. He's always in that area. And he's leaving. Hey, 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 hey. Looky there. Looky there. Check it out, Aiden. It attracted a deer. Now, the question is, will he go for the apples? Based on where he's going, I don't think he is. What? You smell it? You smell it? You looking? Nope. Nope. Ah. Kept on walking. Ah, oh, Aiden. So close, buddy. So close. So, 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 so close. <laughs> now we got the birds. Whoa. Got a big old buzzard coming to check out the apples. What? What are you talking about? 
I did not know buzzards would eat apples. I mean, I know they eat anything, but you know, I always thought they just ate like dead things on the side of the road. I didn't know they ate apples. That's insane. And he's still there. No freaking way. Hmm. Wow. That just blows my mind. Oh, he bailed. Enough of the apples, I guess. Ah, oh, the raccoons. I knew it was a matter of time for the raccoon showed up. Didn't eat the apples, what? That's shocking, I thought that the raccoon definitely would have ate the apple. Oh, we got another one. Checking it out, licking it. Not his cup of tea, I guess. Strange. Okay, nothing in that clip, ghost clip. Oh, nope, raccoon leaving. Another raccoon leaving. <laughs> that just completely like, it just blows my mind that the raccoons aren't going crazy on the apples. Another cl ghost clip, nothing. And a whole bunch of birds. Those birds are tearing up that corn. And then it looks like Rocco's tail. Mm -mm -mm. But that is all the videos we got, guys. I told you it wasn't a whole lot, unfortunately. Now, uh, we did have that deer come in. We, we did have the deer come in. That is a plus. Uh, we had the buzzard eating it. And uh, the raccoons uh, came, checked it out, and uh, didn't eat it, which was very, very surprising. So I got to say, I'm impressed that it did, in fact, attract those animals. I'm disappointed though that the deer did not stay around to eat it, but you know, so many factors could play in that. There might have been a noise or something that spooked him and he just decided to keep on moving, didn't have enough time to actually go out and check the apples out and eat them. That's a possibility. Uh, then we had the buzzard come in and uh, he ate the apples. I thought that was wild. I've never seen a buzzard eat any type of uh, fruit like that before. So that was pretty crazy. And then we had the raccoons come in, check it out. Looks like they got like a taste of it and was like, ah, I don't think so. So they kind of bailed. So all in all, uh, a great bait review. Uh, would I use this? Uh, maybe in a different time of the year. Uh, I think right now during the winter, it's just a little slow right now, but um, maybe definitely in the upcoming months, definitely would definitely, definitely try this again. Uh, I might put grape instead of strawberry because I've heard like a lot of good things about grape jello being like really good for deer track and stuff like that So I might try that instead, but all in all uh, a great bait review I want to give a big shout out to uh, Aiden Gregg uh, one of my subscribers on YouTube He recommended this in the comments. So uh, thanks a lot Aiden. It was a very very cool bait review to do I really really enjoyed it uh, got some really nice clips of the deer and the buzzard and the raccoon, so that was really, really cool. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe to the Dark Action channel. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you can get alerts. Assume more awesome trail camera videos like this drops. And please, guys, if you haven't already, subscribe. You know you want to. Just go ahead and do it. Come to the dark side. <laughs> but guys, I love y'all. Y'all keep it real. I will catch y'all on the next one. Peace, my dudes.